What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, look, we got Reggie Wright Jr. going off on Loose Cannon and Snoopy Badass. At least that's what the titles say. You know, lately, Reggie Wright Jr. has been finding, I've been finding him very hilarious to me when he do his little, you know, when he snaps and gets upset and whatnot. So I definitely had to tune in on this to see what this is and what he got to say. So shout out to the Dice Crew. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all doing my reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. And shout out to the sponsors, Yard Down Bullet. I'm going to have a link in the description so y'all can tune in with him. Let's rock. Reggie, uh, I don't know if you remember this guy, Loose Cannon, that was um, claiming to have the Nipsey tape and all that a, a few months ago. I saw a, a, like a YouTube short where he he went in on you, and I, I don't know why, and I want to see if you know why. But what's what's do you two have an issue? What's the problem with, with you and him? Oh, damn, I didn't hear that one. Hey, dude, funny as a mug. He talking about, I don't know why, but he went he went in on you. Play that one for me. Reggie Wright, Reggie Wright. Listen. Let me hear one more thing you talking about me, you fat bitch. And I'm going to expose your ass. You know the story, what you and said, what y'all used to do when y'all was at death row, nigga. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't make me expose you and make your fat ass get off that couch, bitch. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of videos of Loose Cannon going off on people, too. I don't know if he's serious with these issues or is he just trying to keep himself like in the algorithm with the content or whatnot. But I think he got to find a little bit more funny. He got to find a funnier approach about it. You know what I mean? Oh, you gonna get me off the couch? <laughs> this nigga out here living by me in Corona. <laughs> he is so easily. He out in Corona, California. Nigga, put keep fucking with me. I'll put your address up because I'm sure some sixty niggas looking for your bitch ass. You keep claiming that you have a twin brother and all of that shit. That's the only worst I hear. I don't even think you have a twin brother to be honest. But. And you know what? Reggie Wright just definitely said something that I feel like he shouldn't have said on the television or the internet. But maybe he's just joking. But I think he could get in trouble for that, right? God damn, Luch. What, you get mad just because I said, where's the tape? Everybody been asking where the tape that you claimed that you was going to have. On Big Hugh, and y'all know I don't get into Big Hugh and, and all of that situation because I kind of cool, had a little decent relationship with Big Hugh, just, you know, through Shug days and all that. But y'all know I fuck with Wack 100, and so I'm not getting in between that. Thought your bitch ass fucked with Wack. But you need some YouTube fame? I thought you was in jail, matter of fact. I just heard you had just got out of jail or something like that. But... I only asked one time, way back in February. I guess we're going to see if y'all are liar or not. <laughs> if the tape don't come out, they'll exist. They'll come out, <laughs> which it didn't. <laughs> and so that shows that you're a motherfucking liar. you just out there throwing up stuff like your woman's been saying, like like your, everybody that's associated been saying to you, about you. But those 60 niggas are here looking for your bitch ass because you've been saying like you, you from the hood. Wait, so look, from what I'm picking up, I guess Loose Cannon is snapping off on Reggie because Reggie spoke on the alleged videos that Loose Cannon and Wack was saying that they had on No Jumper. But Reggie said he rocks with Wack 100, but he said since Loose, Loose Cannon haven't produced any tape, that shows he's a liar. But I think y'all got to let me know, Dice Crew. Wasn't WAC 100 co-signing and saying it was a tape the same way Loose Cannon was? And you not. Keep talking. I'll put your address out here in Corona. I know where you're at. I know that little street you're walking on. Don't play with Reggie, right, little boy? I mean, Reggie is funny, man. He got the scoop on everybody, man. He's just going off, man. I think this year might be big for Reggie on this YouTube space, man. You know what I mean? I think he going to be going off on people. He probably going to get on some, like, you know, more of a PG-13 Charleston White level or something. Go back and play, you know, because how that girl was talking to you, man. 
How, uh, cause just because you used to go with everybody's whole black China, everybody want to, <laughs> you want to, and that's your little only claim to fame and how she talked bad to you like a little bitch. <laughs> I remember that episode when she was just told you to shut up and all of that. And so now you want to tap at Reds? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. It's funny to me, man. I don't know why ain't nobody put me on reds going off no like sooner now. You know what I mean? I just start stumbling across his clips, really. But I don't know why ain't nobody put me on game sooner. You just like clout, dog. You like clout. You need somebody to come and talk to you, homie. I'll send somebody to come talk to your bitch ass. You too close. So, you wanna play? I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't know, man. It just seemed like to me that Reggie gonna get in trouble, man. He definitely saying certain stuff that I feel like he shouldn't be saying on there, or maybe he got like certain type of privileges or some. I don't know, but it definitely seemed like to me that he's saying certain stuff he shouldn't be saying on that internet. Attention for you. You need your IG built up. You need a reason somebody to talk to, somebody to lie on. You gonna try to say Cedric? What you heard about me and Cedric? Everybody know Cedric like little young white boys. He don't like no big old fat black guy. And I'm the one that exposed Cedric and his homosexuality and, and all that. That bullshit and Megan Law shit. I'm the one to talk about that. But I ain't got no problem with Sid. Penitentiary said, shit, that nigga was shit, a good dude. My man said, ain't had nothing going. I was too big and fat and, and the wrong color for said. <laughs> you want to keep it real. So do you think you make a little in, in your windows going to hurt red? Nigga, play with somebody else, little boy, because you ain't nothing but a troll. You's a major lying ass troll. And you done proved to everybody that you ain't nothing but a bitch ass troll. The one thing I like with Spider and them been doing, been exposing your bitch ass. They been over there putting everybody out. I don't even follow that bullshit. No, this ain't shit ain't gonna give me no views. But nobody get no freebies with me, dawg. So, stay in your lane, little boy. But if you wanna play, let's play. That's what I do. Ask anybody. That's what I do for a living. I do this. I ain't never had a fight in my life. A fair one. <laughs> or, why I wasn't a cop. But. I don't even know how to take that, y'all. Y'all gotta explain that to me, Dice Crew. Like, what did he mean by that? Like, he ain't never had a fight in a day in his life. Like, let's, let's run it back. Stay in your lane, little boy. But if you wanna play, let's play. That's what I do. Ask anybody. That's what I do for a living. I do this. I ain't never had a fight in my life. A fair one. <laughs> or, or why I wasn't a cop. But. Yeah, I still ain't catching it. Y'all gotta explain that to me, Dice Crew. What is like? What y'all think he mean by why he never had a fight? Because on one hand, some can find that as like um, less credible to talk disrespectful if you ain't a person who fights. And then I'm trying to think, on the other hand, is he saying, like, he just always go further than a fight? Like, you know, a fair fade? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Nigga, you want to play, I'll have somebody come and, 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 and say, hey, Reg, Reg need to holler at you. You want that? Because you too close. You too close. Go play, boy. You just got out of jail, so you're probably on probation or now. I might need to be cool, because you're probably a snitch if you got out like I heard you just got out. But we'll see. Hopefully this is an old video and you thought I was just tapping at you for exposing your lie about that tape on Big U and all of that. And then, hey, bro, that's your, your business. But... I think this video was done recently because if John just heard about it, he would have been to heard about it. So let's play Looch. 
Lucy, Lucy, come out and play. I'll play. I'm gonna put that on the couch. I don't sit back on my couch. Cause my phone still works, nigga. You take that. Y'all take that and take that to the police. Bitch ass niggas. Cause that's what you seem to be. Fucking police ass. They about to tap Reggie right phone, y'all. Nigga. Couch. Cause. My phone still works, nigga. You take that. Y'all take that and take that to the police. Bitch ass niggas. Cause that's what you seem to be. Fucking police ass nigga. Snitch. Keep I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> is it just me or is it like Reggie Wright Jr. definitely be having like two different people? Like two different personalities and then during the interview, like I had your whole record put up within a week. I'll expose your ass, nigga. You don't know me. I'm tired of you LA niggas trying to fuck with a nigga that y'all don't know nothing about. You LA niggas don't know me. Did you actually if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna show it, but um I wanted to get your thoughts or your reaction on this video that happened on social media with um, Snoopy Badass. <laughs> Apparently, he told his side of the story, but I want to get your thoughts. Let me let me play it, and then I'll get your thoughts on the initial video. <laughs> I told y'all that nigga was a clown. I told y'all that nigga was a clown. I told y'all way back then that he's a clown. He need to be DP back in the day. Back in the day, so I don't get these young, these new game bangers. I know I've been away from this shit for a while. Cause I, I tell you, I used to fuck with everybody. Y'all just don't know. I know I'm the police. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That nigga running around with some Crocs on. I seen a dude on this, on no jumper. That was, I kind of liked, I liked this dude that was on no jumper. And um, I thought he was kind of cool. I, I liked the way his get down was. But I seen him with some slippers on and no jumper with some, some. Man, niggas used to get DP, go take out the trash. Any of you old time game bangers over 50. You know, he got a point there, though. You know, that's mandatory. You know, mandatory, suited and booted, always ready for action, never in their house shoes, never slipping, always boots on. And, you know, he got a point about that. Y'all tell me if I'm lying. You take out the trash can and some slippers. Nigga, you got DP. Well, <laughs> but these new y'all gonna be out here walking around in Crocs and... Out in public with slippers on and shit, nigga. You ain't walking prison, nigga. You didn't watch with no shower shoes on in prison, unless you. Anyway, y'all different, y'all different. But get back to the video, cause that's the only thing that looked at me. I said, "Ooh, that nigga had a Springfield. Y'all know about Springfields with an extended clip on." I don't know. I thought it was fake at first when I first saw it. Then he tried to address it. But I guess he ain't, I guess that crypt shit came out of him because he showed did this his own Hollywood. He started calling them names and stuff. I was like, oh, look at that nigga. That crypt shit came out real quick. <laughs> they said he was a set jumper and a set hopper. He did, that nigga made him diss his own hood. I know a lot of y'all didn't catch that because y'all, you know, I know you niggas on YouTube just be watching. Y'all just saw the gun. That, that nigga dissed his own hood. That's, that's what you're supposed to catch from that. Yeah. Those niggas had to be friends or know each other or something because niggas catch you like that, you, you pop their bitch ass. See how that nigga living? That's another one of these niggas. Talk all this biggie, badass shit. 
know he live in foul. When he tell you, I don't live here, this ain't my house. Nigga, fuck you. That, nigga, that's your house, nigga. That's where you live. Broke ass nigga. I told you, I told y'all a while ago, this nigga ain't got a car. And they want to run around, talk at Reggie, right? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I saw that video. I thought it was funny. Uh, the phony part, I care. You know, anybody get caught slipping and all of that. It was how the bitch came. I love you, man. And that nigga just made him this his own hood. <laughs> hey, Hollywood, y'all better stand up. I heard my boy about to get out. What up, homo style? Over style, got off from that long bed. I heard you was in jail, jail with my boy Lil C Style. He told me he was coming home. Hopefully you home now. And uh, home style. Get those little tin boys, the little tin Hollywoods in check, man. Get those niggas right. Because uh, that nigga right there need not to use the word pyro no more. He need to go back to that crib. That Crip Hood or wherever he from, because he ain't no good. I hope I hear that nigga running around any of those niggas from the mob again. I hope I hear that. Bet you can't. Bet you I won't see him with no more mob power road niggas. After that nigga dissed the hood so quick like that, this his own hood, nigga. I don't know who you can go fuck with. The Mexicans gonna get you one day. The Crips knows you's a set hopper. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see <laughs> what you be able to claim. <laughs> you gonna have to move out of town real quick, Snoopy badass. Yeah, go on Instagram with your broke ass and your <laughs> your little. 500 square foot apartment and, and do your little IG toast talking shit because we seen the bitch come out of you I bet you shitted on yourself motherfucker if that was real <laughs>